What's going on, guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. Let's figure out an interesting character to bring here. We've already tested all the characters that have changes that I can pick here at the start. No, no, no. Actually, that's not true. We haven't done a run with Slave yet, who got uh, damage buffs across the board. So, excuse me. Um, that could be worth testing. We'll at least pick him up here and see how it feels. Feel out the run. Um, let's also bring Genie. Though maybe it's a mistake to bring these two together. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. It doesn't... It, it, we're not committing to these. We're just starting off with something. So this should be fine. We'll be fine. We'll get something cool along the way, hopefully. Um, but, I mean... The only reason I say it might be a mistake to bring these two together is because... Um, Oh, interesting. Actually, this is very interesting. I think we can dodge all of the, the damage here. Because uh, Genie has like a weird glitch that he can do. Um, but I was going to say... Uh, the reason I say it, it's a mistake is because these are both like kind of defensive-based characters. But it'll be fine. Anyways, if you're curious and you want to cheese the hell out of this, there's a way you can do it with a Genie swap. You swap in a Genie. You have to stand in the dead center or else it doesn't work. Uh, swap the Genie. Open the chest. And if something damaging pops out, he can avoid the damage. And also, not in the dead center. I take that back. You want to stand where you're go like where a uh, little bone is going to stand to open it. So, I think this is better. Yeah, that that's good. And as you saw there, that was like a giga explosion, and I dodged it. I'm not going to do that though, because um, it's I don't know, it's it's a little too cheesy for my taste. Uh, but we did dodge the giga explosion with that glitch, so. In fact, I'm going to purposefully try to stand in uh, locations where uh, I won't trigger the glitch with a uh, genie. But um, I am still going to swap before I open chests because that's just something I do anyway to uh, avoid taking damage to recruits that pop out. Because you get your swap shield and then you don't take damage from them. Yeah, oh, wow. We'd be at 30 HP right now if I took that uh, get big explosion. What a nasty fucking room. What is this? <laughs> What kind of way is this to start off a run? I, I probably would have to stop. Unless I didn't care about my reassembly. Like, if I actually took that big explosion, I don't think I would be able to be opening these right now. Because the threat of finding one of... Then, I'd be at five. Also, that didn't hurt me. Um, kind of weird. But I'd be at five right now. I, I would have to leave. <laughs> and then I'd have to do act one with, uh, with like, no HP. Yeah, this would be uh, actual really. This I, I would probably just restart the run and begin the recording again. Honestly, there we go. Cause like at that point, it's like I don't want to fucking deal with the stress. Okay, I guess it. I guess I was wrong. I thought you had to be standing um in the dead center to where your character doesn't move when you open it. But I guess genie swap just works. I'm still not gonna stop swapping though because like it's just like what. Well, the, the thing I exploit where I get my swap shield and uh, avoid the recruit damage, that's not, that's not like a glitch. That's just smart. So, just because um, the glitch exists where I can dodge the damage on my genie doesn't mean I'm going to be stupid and not avoid recruits popping out and hurting me. Overall, very strange foolish and large chest, for sure. That was a really mean one. And an armor of fear. Dog, I did the stun run yesterday, man. I didn't get this shit. Ah, oh. Man, that's fucked up. It's... I want to... But I just did stun. People are going to get mad if I do stun again. But uh, actually, it is worth pointing out. This did get buffed. Um, hugely, by the way. Uh, increases physical attack and magic attack by 50%. That's already good enough. But... On top of it, uh, which won't be in the text, but uh, they increased the uh, they increased the amount of damage it could, like the max damage it can do. Before it was capped at nine 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 nine. I don't know where it's capped now, but uh, uh, being capped at nine 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 was, you know, not like the end of the world, but it was kind of annoying, because uh, I mean enemies in these days have a lot more HP than nine nine nine, and. Uh, there, were, there was often times you could easily do more than that, and the game just stopped you. So, like, 999 sounds like a, a good cap on paper. Like, you're like, oh, that doesn't matter. You know, how often are you going to do more than that? Uh, more than you'd think. More than you'd think. 
so it's it's nice a uh, stun i don't know man stun i feel like the devs had this weird misconception or something that stun was in a bad spot and they're like we got a we got a giga hyper buff stun or else people aren't going to play it it's like dude stun already was the best status in the game by a lot and then they just hyper giga buffed it and <laughs> It's like, wow, um, now look at fucking stun. Now it's like leagues above everything else. Might even be uh, more consistent than poison now. It's hard to say. It's too early to say such stuff like that. But I do think it's um, by far the, the best status in the game now. Without even a second thought about it. Remaining one. This is an item room, I'm a little certain. I had the choice of a skull room, though. But I didn't take it. Yeah, we're not letting out that remaining one. I like to save him for more bone shards later on. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for here. I really hope it doesn't start showing me a bunch of good stun items, because, <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm not gonna turn that shit down more than likely if the game like starts really pushing me towards it. It just sucks because I did it yesterday. Poisoning, chase, garbage, just straight trash. Excuse me. Um. Oh yeah, buy treasure. I've been forgetting that a little bit lately. I don't know why. Treasure on the pedestal. Glowstone. Uh, no. Yeah, okay, that's what. That's my reward for not taking the glowstone. I don't even know why I was considering glowstone, but I, I was. Just. You know what? I'll keep it for now. I was gonna keep the the um, uh, bow for gold generation and just d ditch the sylphid wings, but this could become a run where I want sylphid wings, so may as well hold on to it. Get destroyed, lady. I can't imagine this becoming a sylphid wings run, but you know, you never know. Oh, <laughs> insta-stop, Jesus. Holy crap, she didn't stand a chance. Nothing good there, or at least nothing interesting. Uh, 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 obviously, Gravedigger's good. And frankly, so is Steel Golem. In fact, I'll take a Steel Golem here. Let's upgrade the Slave, just, just to say we did. Like, I'm still not committing to him, but I don't know. Kind of like his little, I like his little face. Look at him. He's little. Yeah, absolutely obliterated, by the way. Now we also have the execute on our cruel strike. Um, which is nice. Maybe it'll come in handy at some point. Who knows? Alright. We're off to the races. I well, Kind of. We got some good shit going here. Got some directions to build into. Like, I got archetypes in front of me. Um, I'll take this. Why the hell not? It's a decent item. Also, uh, dual enhanced. Actually, no, dual in general got buffed, right? It's not just dual enhanced that got buffed. I think it's all of dual. Which is another crazy buff that, like... <laughs> I don't know. Did the devs think dual was in a bad spot? Because it, it wasn't. Dual was in a really good spot. Now it's in a just obscene spot. Dole's just like, Dole stonks up, but a lot of stonks are up in this update. Huh. Does Steel Golem have? I was gonna see if it had a, if it dealt additional damage when an enemy hits a wall or something. Cause there's like some skills in the game that are like that, and I was like, eh, he. I do see this uh, Steel Golem often slamming enemies into the walls, so... Seems appropriate. Even though that's like... One of the weirder effects that they put on items and skills in this game. Or just skills, no items. Uh, because it... Like, bosses cannot be slammed into walls. So it's another one of those things where it doesn't work on bosses. And you you guys know the rules. If it doesn't work on bosses, it's bad. Give me another legendary, please. Or something interesting. Ah, yes, it was the final thing, but that's an uh, excellent thing to pick up. 
now we have gold percent gain. We're going to be rich as hell going into the uh, upcoming shops, which is always great. Always. You love to see it. Okay. It's maybe a potential dash run. Uh, you know, we got the Sylphid Wings here, which of course means I want a Pikeman. Not a Pikeman. You know, I thought maybe I could get lucky. Also, Pikeman did get changes. Need to remember that. Uh, though the Pikeman changes wouldn't be very relevant to me on this build. Maybe we just ditch the Armor of Fear. But also, it's just kind of a good item, I guess. Like, it's a good... It's just good. I'm keep... If I'm doing a dash build, I'm keeping the Sylphid Wings. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. If only I'd seen that yesterday. Like, that run probably would have won with, uh... With an Armor of Fear on it. Now it's just, like, one of the better, uh... One of the better legendaries in the game, I would say. But also, it's just, like, one of the... It's def probably the best status legendary now. Though I guess the competition there is pretty freaking fierce. Glacier Breaker. Uh, Cursed Live Embers. Approaching Death. Actually, <laughs> Approaching Death is really good. They're all good. And then there's, and then there's Miracle Grail. Just kind of sitting off to the side. Which is good. It's just a shame that it's attached to a uh, bleed. And also that bleed... Um, needs it to function basically Actually, I guess that's not true. You can do bleed builds without it, but eh. They're all niche I just wish they would buff bleed Like it, I'm always out here sounding the alarm about bleed and it never gets buffs it got like um, Excessive bleeding enhanced got a buff this update, but that does not help bleed You still got to get past fucking Dark hero with bleed, which isn't like I'm kind of ragging on bleed too much. I, bleed's just inconsistent, but like bleed builds that pop off are powerful. That's my that's the main thing. At least we don't have the execute Yggdrasil glitch anymore, where like you can kill him um, with a cruel strike, um, uh, like. Uh, basic rarity uh, slave cruel strike can execute uh, Yggdrasil and bypass phase 2. Now we can just normally execute him. You gotta be better than that, Yggdrasil. Old buddy, old pal. Gotta wake up a little earlier than that to get me. <laughs> about couldn't have gone worse there for me honestly but it's fine because we're out of here or are we we're out of here <laughs> he got the ult technically but he didn't get to finish it so i'm fine with that i'll take those results all right what do you got in the box something good please oh calvary decoration if i'm doing dash which at this point it's looking likely uh, this is a really good item to have, so don't mind if I do. Although, what do I get rid of for it is the question. It's becoming a little harder of a question to answer. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I like most of what I have. There's like, I mean, I do have, like, this is unnecessary. Yeah. Okay, all right, whatever. Um, overall, though, it's also like, am I keeping dual the whole run? If I'm not, something like Execution Axe might be better because it's like just a better item in a vacuum than uh, Rapid Sword of Subconscious. But I think I'm, I don't know, let's just stay the course. We're fine, we don't need the Execution Sword. Uh, aging, I don't think is good on a dash run, and this is looking almost certain to be a dash run. So let's do this. Go-getter is essential on runs like this. So we'll do go-getter. 
Uh, also, there is merit uh, in taking um, Last Resistance just to lose it later on purpose because of uh, because of the potential of finding like a uh, irresistible suggestion or something. I would even take a Howling Egg on this run because um, dash runs are best built mixed because there's like a million powerful chase items that are on both uh, sides. Like for one, Stigma Balls, which got giga buffed in the recent update. Give me a Stigma Balls, actually. I'd love us. I'd love one. Uh, no, thank you, but I will take the money because we're not going to be using our basic that much. Dash runs are all about dashing all the time. All dashes all the time. Check me. Look, check at look at me go, dog. I'm like a trapeze artist over here. Who says that only Chase and like a couple of other select skulls can do this shit? Everyone can do dash builds. Even the ones you least expect to be able to. Like, I don't know, uh, Slave. Like, when you think of this guy, you don't exactly think, oh yeah, that guy's got a hell of a good dash. <laughs> That guy can dash like no tomorrow. I almost dashed myself into getting Gatling gun. I'm dashing so hard. I mean, I appreciate the offer, but if you're going to show me items, you can do better than that. Like, I don't know, stigma balls, please. No. It's not even chase, actually. I always... There's just so many baffling aspects to Magic Boots, which got buffed, and it's still wholly unimpressive. Um, Broken Man Engine's good. Let's let's go ahead and get rid of Treasure Four. We don't need it. Oh, the glitch! Oh, you fucking asshole, man! Get the hell out of here! All right. Well, I mean, it's fine. Though, if there was a solar sword under that shit, I'm going to be real pissed. Real pissed. I'll scream so loud, the whole world will shake. That's how mad I'll be. Not that I could possibly know. But, like, if I could know, look into the other alternate universe where the glitch didn't proc there. Um and see what was behind there, and a solar sword was there, then, then I'd know, and I'd scream, and you know, yada yada. All right, nice. All right, man. Oh, yeah, no. I've had enough of you for now, buddy. <laughs> After yesterday, yeah. No thanks. I think I have to change my approach to how I play uh, prisoner runs. I think I got. I just gotta start. Start actually not swapping on prisoner runs, cause like his swap is so obscenely bad. And when you don't swap with him, he's just so powerful. Like, I'm definitely a stubborn person, but it's like... Man, <laughs> I do have to admit it. Like, as, as much as I like swapping. Like, yesterday's run spoke volumes to me. Alright, let me out, please. Alright, uh, we need- it'd be nice if we could find the Huntress and fight her in Act 3, so she has the chance to drop Huntress's boots. Because obviously that's like an incredible, uh, chase item to have. Uh, yeah, I'll commit to the, uh, genie here. Though one problem, some people might be like, oh, he has those apparitions that appear behind him, so he'd be really good at chase, right? He is good at chase, but those don't deal dash damage, they deal, I think, basic attack damage. It's one of the weirdest decisions I, that that like one of the weirdest design decisions in this entire game i don't get it i never will get it it kind of irritates me and it's like i kind of wish the devs would fix it but they're probably not going to so 
But like if those dealt uh, dash damage, then um, there'd finally be another really good user of Mithril gear. But we don't live in that timeline. We live in the curse timeline. Uh, I do kind of want cur want courage, but I don't even know if I have an enough room on a build like this for courage. Courage is going to be really, really hard to awaken. Like, one thing that is unnecessary on this build is the duel. So I could take this. But, like, I don't know. Duels, on a mixed damage run, duel is kind of like the, the middle ground between wisdom and courage. So it's like, it's like the best of both worlds, I guess. Wouldn't mind having better duel. Which, I guess if we can get Stigma Balls, we can get rid of one of these dual items I don't want. We got options. Also, we're at the shop, which is kind of unfortunate. Way less money in this shop than the last one. Just give me good chase items, please. It's none of this is what I'm asking for. Dog. Man... Oh, come on, dog. What the hell? Bunch of straight garbage. Thankfully, I'm powerful enough for Liana sisters as it stands, but, like, come on. Be a pal. At least give me a solar sword or something to make up for the one I definitely missed earlier. We all know it was back there. The whole world knows. Everyone's saying it. All right, beautiful. Um, I'm not even going to go give her the dignity of eating her flower. Because it's not like she gave me a my dear friend. She gave me a crappy one. So. Not interested. Bye. You're not slipping by me this time. Man, dude, hidden blade or hidden, hidden dagger, is like one of those items that I think gets slept on by a lot of people, and I don't get why. It does good ass damage, man. Like chase as an archetype across the board, I think gets kind of slept on. People think you have to be playing like pikeman to do it, but um, especially uh, just the power levels of uh, some of these items in chase are like underrated as fuck like people like recognize the power of huntress's boots though there's like a few items that thankfully people are awake on even like uh something like also i'm very tempted to take this but we, we still need lots of bone shards but uh, even something like um broken mana engine gets slept on one of the reasons i love chase so much as an archetype is because it has so many really really powerful rares it's like really consistent and easy to get chase runs going and then you have like more niche items uh which actually i think i think silver wings does even have chase on it right it's it's heritage and um what's it called heritage and uh sore so but it's like you're never going to use this on a sore build. You're going to use it on a chase build. So it's one of those things that has like heritage tacked onto it for no good reason. I remember that's like a joke I used to make a lot. It's like the devs are like struggling to think of what a second inscription could be for something. And they're like, uh, uh, uh shit, fuck you. I don't know, put heritage on it. Like, uh, witches brew. Why is that heritage? Uh, it just is. Couldn't think of anything else. It, there's so many good items that are like that, too. There's probably lore reasons why. Hey, how did that work? I very clearly dodged that shit. Or parried that shit, I should say. Owie. Go easy on me, ladies. 
We shouldn't struggle really with this at all. Even though I'm still gonna ride the merry go round. Wait, they're still coming at me? Wow. We have like so many iframes. Like we got iframes coming out our wazoo. Uh, I need to be careful moving forward. The long hair sister is getting absolutely obliterated. And I don't want her to die. And we have the rapid sword of the subconscious. And I'm not willing to delete it. So if she dies, she dies. It's like, I, I'm not fucking making myself weaker for your sake. If you don't want to. Yeah, exactly. She's got the will to live unless she comes down now. She didn't. Where is that 17 true damage coming from? We don't have a food item. If we had a food item, you'd see it in my uh, buff bar down there. What is that? What the hell? Where is that coming from? I kept seeing it. It's on the genie. Uh, no. I'm confused. I saw it again. Do you see it? Am I imagining things? That shit's real, right? Oh, there it was. <laughs> that time it was like undeniable. Very prominent. That's so odd. Maybe it's a glitch? Because it's only popping up like every so often. It's like kind of rare, it seems. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Weird. Oh well. Only 17 damage. Um. Wow. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Ugh. What a horrible Leona chest. Oh my god. Like none of it. Oh. Ugh. I'm just gonna break the unique. Oh, God. Why are Leon just so consistently terrible? It's crazy. Glass body, huh? That's pretty good. Sure. Let's get a slow ride today. Up, uh, Max out our go-getter there. Oh, yeah. I also need to remember that I might should be taking last resistance. We're going to fully commit to the genie here and hold off on committing to slave. This is not a good run to showcase Slave off. I'd really rather not use Slave on a run like this. I want to do a run with Slave where I'm actually com using his mechanics. Because of... Uh, it's just like... We're, we're, we're chasing. Anyone could be doing what we're doing right now. Like The skull choice here is hardly relevant at all. Like, the genie's certainly a better chaser than, uh, than a lot of skulls out there, but, like, even he could be anyone else right now, and it wouldn't matter. Chill the fuck out, dog. I should have let him get mashed. The humiliation of that would have been pretty nice. Alright, lady, you're not needed. Solar Soul. Okay. It was a short lived dream. Alright, Frieza, let's make this nice and simple for both of us. Thank you. Also, no Dark Elite in this room. You love to see it. Is this the shop? I really hope it's not. I want more time to get money. It is not. I was actually about to say it is because I didn't see another door here, but nope. And now we're going to have a fuck ton of money. So much money that I think I can even safely give this guy my... Uh, I can give this guy my money and it won't matter that much. Even though I know he's going to steal my money and leave. You can just die to that. Just obliterated. Now we have the true boss of this room. 
The brawler. You hate to see him. The worst part of every skull run. Wonder if there's a seed that doesn't have any brawlers in it. Wouldn't that be lovely? It's a really common, or I don't know. I, I was about to say it's a really common dark uh, elite prefix, but I think they all have the same amount of uh, possibility to show up. Either way, I hate that shit. Uh, you'd think Mithril Girl would be good here. It's not. We don't deal dash attack damage. Now, Rockstar's an interesting uh, character to see here. How much do I want Rockstar? If only that was the Pikeman. I still would want the Pikeman. I'm going to stay the course with what I have. I'm not convinced by a, a rock star. It doesn't really do anything for me. However, this is nice. We can get rid of uh, one of these. This. Bye. Now we have a lot of damage scaling. Very dense. And we have the dual inscription that can stay on this build. Also, this is really nice as well. We can lose our gold percent gain then, I guess. I don't like that, but... It is the thing that makes the most sense. We can also buy something else on the... Oh, also, don't forget the min-max. Uh, but we can also buy something else on the pedestal. Rather than treasure. But I guess for now, we don't. We just buy treasure. I need to buy chase. So, we buy chase for... Although, there are chase items that I still want. Like, there's uh, stigma balls I'm looking for. Of course, Mane of the Beast King is incredible. That's like my number one. Man, Mane of the Beast King is so freaking good. I don't think people sleep on Mane of the Beast King as much as they do some of these items, but like, it's definitely one of those legendaries I feel like doesn't get the acknowledgement it deserves as how obscenely powerful it is. Also, I might actually take that. In fact, I think I will. Even though he's a Tackle Dasher, which kind of makes him a little less appealing, it it doesn't really matter. Um, tackle Dashing Power Skulls are actually pretty good on chase builds. More, They're better than you'd think they'd be. I had the, this realization um, back at some point during the Dark Mirror meta. I remember it was a big revelation for me that, like, chase for one is a universal archetype that you can build on anyone not just like a couple of skulls and also um that uh tackle dashing power skulls are good at it i used to consider tackle dashing like a strict inherent debuff attached to uh, certain skulls back in the day it kind of was but then in the dark mirror they actually buffed uh tackle dashing it's your skull history lesson for the day for those who are newer. And I'm sure a lot of new players still consider Tackle Dashing to be bad. But it's not. It's actually good. Alright, just... You can dupe the Lunar Ring. I'd rather you not, but if you want to, you can. <laughs> now, just give me some magic dash... Uh, some magic damaging items. But we got the... Uh, the Dawn of the Argent Moon. Oh, you're going to show me the Dominator? I'm, I'm going to have to pass. I'm going to have to pass. I'm sorry, guys. I've used him too much. You can get too much of a good thing. You, it's, it's, it's indeed humanly possible. We haven't done a Hercules run yet. We'll get the Dominator again and uh, run where we want to use him. He's not like a particularly good dasher, so... Using him on a chase run, I feel, is unnecessary. It's gratuitous. Alright, you need to drop your boots, lady. You could be so kind. Uh, you over there, you can just ult. Although I am going to try and kill you in the middle of it, of course. Owned. Let's do her first. 
All right, well, you could have given me something, but whatever. I'm not one to hold a grudge. Uh, we don't have courage. Now that we have the uh, uh, Dawn of the Lunar Ring, what was it again? Yeah, Dawn of the Argent Moon. Now that we have Dawn of the Argent Moon, um, we're definitely committed to mixed damage. So, game, that's your cue. Stigma balls, please. It's not asking for a lot. Also, uh, the thing about doing chase runs is they're kind of contrary to how I normally do my arachno scaling. Skill cooldown and attack speed is significantly less important on a build like this than it normally is. Still important, of course, but much less so. So usually when I'm doing chase, I start with a uh, damage. And I do uh, skill cooldown and attack speed last. Which is the exact opposite order I normally take. How are you not dead? Die. Thank you. I'm gonna let him pop off. Not interested in being blown to smithereens before I get to the shop. Sadly, not very good on this build. Like I said, it's all about dashing. Um, basic attacks are just non-factors. Though that is obviously a really good omen. I wouldn't mind getting it on a more suitable run. Gentlemen, chill the fuck out. Y'all would be more effective if you just like flew around and lived for a couple of seconds. Actually, that's not true. <laughs> Cause the the other variant of the ghosts, the white ghosts are like way less threatening than that one. So like these guys just basically exist. I always forget that Genie has a stun skill. That is a stun skill. Yeah, I got. I want to double check. Yeah, they have stun spread across so many different skulls. It's hard to keep track of them all. I saw me stun there, and I, like for the briefest moment, I was confused. What the hell is this? Howling egg, though. Howling egg. I'm trying to do magic shit. I'm more worried about my physical damage than I am my magic. Pass. Now this is a little more usable than it was before. Because we actually have t uh, dash attack damage now. It's still bad on Genie though. And I don't have enough. Like I'm never going to awaken it. So let's keep going. I can still find the solar sword. Huh. I'm not buying it. Really, at this stage, it's all about stigma balls, and that's really all I care about. Visible knife is worth considering. Briefly, at least. Let me. There's shit on my. Hang on. My glass has something on it. It's annoying me. Okay, that shit was bugging the hell out of me. Alright. Nothing to see here, I guess. Yep, nothing to see here. Not interested. Or I was interested. Let, let's rephrase. I was interested, but the dumb shop gave me nothing. Which is just bullshit. It's just fucked up. Like, I have all this magic damage, and sure... I have mana, um, broken mana engine, and also I have, uh, uh, sylphid wings, but I want more. I need more. And, of course, the Argent mode, but... I mean, we are doing good damage. Like, it's not like the run's fucked or anything. I have a feeling Chimera is gonna be slow. But I've been wrong before. Oh, also I didn't even think about it. Um, these two skulls are like very similar in a lot of ways. 
It's interesting that I have them together like this. Like, I remember my tier list I made a big hubbub about uh, how Genie spent all this time trying to gain recognition from the fans as a good character to play. Because back in the day, everyone thought Genie was among the worst skulls in the game. He used to certainly be worse than he is now, but that was still never true. And I was like a long time Genie defender. And then the DLC comes out and has the audacity to release Genie, but with damage. Because like one thing you can say about Genie is, sure, he's got the iframes on deck. Sure, he's uh, you know, like he's got the uh, the good dash. At least now he has the good dash. But he's lacking damage. Like his punches, it's like he's got pillows tied to the end of his fists when he's punching people. But this guy, you know, he's he's got all the iframes on deck, and also to top it off, can deal really good damage. So. They had the audacity to dethrone the iframe king, and it made me very upset. Because he, Genie, you know, he existed all this time. He was a bro the whole time, and so many, for so long, people would talk about how bad he is. I mean, look at this. I was thought I was going to struggle with Chimera. Well, shit, I don't know what I was talking about, man. This Chimera is dead as fuck. Actually, I think in this instance, Genie probably is better than, um... Than our other boy, than Hercules, because he's got the Sylphid Wings double dash. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think a uh, genie's gonna outperform on this run. Bunch of hot garbage. This is good, actually. Don't know why I said it's hot garbage. It's probably better than this. I mean, it's certainly better than this. You know what? It is. Yeah, it's just strictly better. All right, I'm sold. Now we got better physical damage. You love to see it. Well, actually, I think we lost physical damage due to arms, which is pretty funny. This is a good uh, weakness exposure. Weakness exposure will do good things with... Um, with uh, Maybe I should be scaling my max HP, but like, if I can't get enough bone shards to scale at least the two left ones on this run... I it it's like at that how many skull rooms have i taken i've even thought about on this build like i really should be taking more item rooms but i gotta get bone shards so if the game holds out on me and prevents me from max killing my most important shrines then i don't know what to say except fuck you oh wait wait a second does it? Maybe it does deal additional damage if an enemy hits a wall. Because I, I just saw that slam into the wall and it and it did like the extra damage. It's not written on the item or the quintessence though. But it was also happening against Leona's sister who you can't slam into a wall. Nice try, dog. It was, a, it was an honest, earnest effort. When you walk into a room and you just turn Executioners and Demon Hunters into Red Mist, that's how you kind of know shit's tight. That's how you know shit's going well. Like, I barely even touched that thing and he just evaporated. Also, I think my nightmare scenario is starting to kind of rear its ugly head. I didn't get a single instance of being able to... Uh, to get bone shards there. It's also a little too late for this, I think. Yeah, it is. But we'll take this. So we'll get some bone shards like that, I suppose. Come on. Ooh, is this actually good here? We do have two uh, power skulls. I mean, who would I be if I didn't take it, right? Maybe smart. <laughs> the more I look at my caliber of chase items and what I'd have to ditch to, to get that, yeah, I very quickly changed my mind there. Yeah. Though I, I, I don't know, maybe I'll end up regretting it. Because I have really, really good chase items. They're certainly better than Cretan Bull. And also, the more I thought about it, it's like Cretan Bull, like, I think it deals decent damage. But it also lowers the amount of times you can dash. Because it sends you into that really long dash animation. 
And that's not necessarily a good thing. Even if it deals decent damage. I just, uh, Cretan Bull is an item I'm too unfamiliar with. I don't, I've, I've only ever used it a small handful of times. Also, another brawler. Every brawler in the world apparently is joining me on this build. Just, oh, he's alive. Wow, okay. Okay. That didn't make sense, but whatever, dog. Man, I'm really starting to... Like, I might have to force myself to take some item rooms. Because, like, we're still missing some really... Not necessary items. We could win this run from this stage, I think. But, like, items I want. But maybe this can be a good... If I don't get the items I'm looking for, maybe this can serve as a good example to people of, like, the consistency and power of stun. Or, um... Of, of chase. Because, like, this is, like... I don't have. Do I even have enough legendaries to? No, I do. Okay, yeah. I was about. To, I was wondering if I had enough legendaries to activate a uh, uh, pot of greed. But all of the items I'm using on my chase, aside for sylphid wings, which is sore, right? so I guess it doesn't count. But like, all of my core damage items are uh, rares, and we're still just tearing everything to pieces. Point being that uh, chase runs are extremely consistent, and. Um, easy to get off the ground it's part of the reason why it it works so well as an archetype in the same way that like uh ability spam items and uh, crit items does chase items is just good all right this guy is not the worst we could have seen though he does have some scary shit he can pull off you gotta be really wary of this guy's sphere attack where he like launches the spheres at you that shit can really fuck you up you get hit by all of those also i'm getting fucked up anyway that let me, let me focus. Precisely that. <laughs> I mean, we are fucking him up, so. My eye itches. I don't want to take in-game damage because I have an IRL debuff. Alright, Bozo. You had your chance and you flew and you fucked it up. Though I shouldn't get too cocky because, like I said, his scariest move is the spheres. Okay, so confirmed it doesn't happen when you slam a fucking enemy into the wall. I don't know where that true damage keeps popping up from. I still don't get it. Man, can I just see some chase? Hey, wait. I do want to scale that up, but, like, come on. Now we can scale this one up. Don't be too hasty. Wait your turn, HP. But now my uh, physical damage is going up, up, up. Physical damage stocks are on the rise. Also, I didn't even realize this was only a 600 damage percent run. Like, it certainly feels like way fucking more. Owned. All right, nice. <laughs> the Dominator is back. Making me feel bad about not playing him. You'll get your fucking chance too, dude. In fact, you already got your chance twice. Be patient. You don't want to even be on this run, Dominator. I can't even use you. Like, not the way you're meant to be used, at least. Like, this is a chase run, dog. Wait, how? Get out of here. Are we at the shop? Please say no. 
Nope. Get the fuck out of here. Also, we still have. I didn't even really think about it. Um, it's kind of weird that I still have the uh, steel golem. As much as I think it's like a little underrated by people, like it's definitely not uh, the kind of quint I usually want to hold on to the end of a run. I'm gonna take an autumn here. Like I don't really care that much about my skull cooldown and attack speed. I do care a little, but not a ton. And uh, we're still missing some key items I'd like to have. Like, if I can get my hands on a stigma balls, man, like, this shit goes so hard. Or, of course, Mane of the Beast King. But I'm excited about stigma balls because it got buffed. Man, you're going to show me a, a unique like that? A unique chest? We don't have... Uh, yeah, we don't have either courage or wisdom, so not really interested in either of those. We also have a uh, a thing there to to change. We don't want treasure on the pedestal. Bone box again. Wow. Cretan bull again. Interesting. Uh Mm. I don't dislike it, but it's just a problem of where do I fit it. I don't have any where I really care to, or anything I care to replace. So, uh, gotcha gaming. Well, it's what you, you know, you you get what you get, I guess. Should have taken that uh, item room. Big mistake. Maybe the Joan chest will give me something nice. We got another shot at an item room here. Oh, that auto summons because it like. Wait, will this auto summon? No. Interesting. If you ever uh, stagger an enemy, that they'll auto summon on you. Um. And certain skills auto stagger. It's kind of hard to keep track with the ones that do. Um, but you gotta be wary of it. Not that it really matters. It's not like the things those guys summon are scary. My damage falls off a cliff whenever I'm not dashing. That does auto summon. Oh, also we're not at the Joan room yet, which is nice. I didn't see if that was a skull room or not, or a uh, item room. Legion? You don't got no one to legionnaire. I don't even think that sentence made sense. But I'm gonna say it anyway. Alrighty. Keep the party going. Man! Come on, man. I'm gonna actually take a money room here. Like, I have way more use for, um, for searching for items in the Act 5 shop with this, like, little amount of money I have than I do uh, scaling my skull cooldown and attack speed. I'm desperate. Maybe we'll get uh, lucky in the Joan chest, but like I said, at the minimum, I at least get to show the consistency of, uh, of Chase, how powerful it can be. Come on, baby stigma balls. Come on, you know you want to, you know you want to. Why are you holding that? Why are you playing coy? Enough of the games. Do the old multi-click drifting strat. Basically, I'm just mashing my attack and dash at the same time, and I get to do stupid shit like this. It looks ridiculous, but it, um, it's actually really helpful 
for boosting my damage. I don't even know if console or controller players can do this. The more I think about it, it's like... You have to somehow mash both buttons on the controller at the same time. It's probably possible. Let's not get ridiculous here. Back to the absurdity. Oh, she's ulting. Well, thank God I uh, had the iframes there. Okay, come on. Enough with the falling in the void. Nice. All right, I'll take one stigma balls, please. Thank you. I didn't see it. Nope. <sighs> artifact, artifact. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes, I see. I see. Um, fuck. This all sucks. Could take, actually, unironically, take this. Because we have stun on our skill. And it just, like increments my damage 2x basically also the stat gains nice it's just like what would go and there really is no answer technically i guess this could go but i'm not ditching dawn of the argent moon it ain't happening uh, uh i'll break it for dramatic effect but that very disappointing um not seeing the items i want to see but it is what it is the run's still good get a little bit of our uh skill cooldown attack speed going here the more often i can use my uh skills on both of these characters the more iframes we'll have you can't go wrong we're not even above the normal threshold i i like stride for uh, my goal on most uh, most of the time on runs, unless outside of certain archetypes like crit items, is 700 damage percent minimum. And we're not even close, but the run still feels good. So maybe another one of those archetypes that can kind of go low on the damage is uh, dash items. One, we got to remember to fix our pedestal if we don't see stigma balls here or something. All right, game. I'm hearing you loud and clear. You're saying fuck you. Fine, fine, you can say it. But we could have made excellent content. I mean, we're still making good content, but still, you, you know what I mean. Okay, what I'm thinking is do I want arms or do I want execute? Hmm. <sighs> Frankly, I'll take execute. Yeah, that seems good. Shamrock for good luck. All right, here's our kit. It's good. It's not what I wanted, but it's still good. Um, just turns out dash items is consistent and powerful, and doesn't take a lot to get off the ground. Also, our damage is higher than it seems because of dual. Like dual is helping is doing some decent lifting there and also we're gonna get stronger with chase enhanced which got buffed and we'll check out those buffs when we see them if we see them i should say i could flub this harder than i've ever flubbed anything and die to the uh, dark hero or something but with two safe uh, skulls like these i don't see that happening that'd be a fucked up world nah we should be a-okay also, I still have Steel Golem. That's kind of crazy, honestly. But oh well. That's what happened. I tried my absolute best to uh, set up a world where I had the highest chance to... Uh, ooh, you were doing that. To get the... Um, the Stigma Balls in the last shot 
So instead of taking a quint, not that I, I don't think there was a quint offered to me in the Joan chest, but I didn't even look for one because I was just wanted as much money as possible. I saw that true damage there again. I don't know what to make of that. I, I don't know what it is. Nice try. All right. Easy OSU. I mean, the Steel Golem's still doing its thing. Like, the thing that makes Steel Golem okay is its low cooldown and also AoE sweeping effect. It's hard to miss with Steel Golem. I don't know. It's it's a fine quint. I'd put it in like low A, high B. Probably high B better than low A. I, I always forget that he doesn't have an iframe swap. Now here's the question. Do I send him into the roar? Yes, I do. On this dope, uh, weak-ass damage percent run that has, like, no damage. We're still able to send him into the roar. Didn't get the items we wanted. We didn't get the damage we wanted. And it don't matter. Which I'm honestly kind of shocked about. Like, genuinely. Didn't expect it to uh, play out this way. No siphon for you. Do we send him into the roar here? I don't think so. No, we actually do. Which is kind of a bad thing. Because he's a little high HP to be doing the roar. It does mean that we're let... I, I think the meatball can't show up right now. What is this, man? You can't be shooting off sphere attacks while you're doing your ult. Oh, shit. I need my stun. Please don't do anything crazy, Meatball, please. All right, there's the grab. I missed with the stun against the Meatball. Okay, we killed the Meatball naturally. All right, this is the part of the fight where you get the fuck out. Like, this is where he starts going absolutely crazy. And we don't want that. So we got to get out of here quickly. What's he doing all the way up there? Fucking goofy. Hero, you're plum crazy, dog. See ya. He never stood a chance. We got the iframes on deck. Iframes so crazy, we don't even know what to do with them all. And now we're moving on to the end game gauntlet. How scary. I'm shaking. We're also about to get immensely more powerful than we were with uh chase plus which is genuine it, it w already was a good enhanced inscription i'm glad they buffed it because it did feel a little underwhelming but like it was still good because dashes are a free action you can do them as much as you want so like even though it took a lot of dashes to activate it i don't know it still felt good but yeah here it is chase a modified but this time it's better Physical attack and magic attack increases by 150. It used to be 100. And attack speed and movement speed increases by 100. I think that was always the same. For 10 seconds upon performing 7 dashes. So, pretty much have that up all the time. Also, it used to be 10 dashes. Now it's 7. So, we can pretty much always have that up. Like, with no issues. Because I'm just dashing all the time anyways. Good luck hitting me while I'm fast as fuck. And also got iframes on deck, Dark Skull. I'm just keeping it real. Also, I'll take my 150 damage percent, please. Oh, you think you got me there? Got some news for you, pal. You didn't.
Nice try! Also, if you can imagine it, YouTube chat doesn't care. You you guys are, are well behaved over in YouTube comments, but but we're taking the tibia here. My Twitch chat wouldn't like it very much, but YouTube, you guys are cool. You guys are chill. You guys are better. That's right. I said it. Huh, 3,000 damage. Nope. No wombo combos for you. Oh, you think you got me? Well, he did actually get me that time, but... I just iframed through it. Because I ain't never scared. Oh, okay, that time he actually got me. Nothing I could do about it. Beautiful. We're doing fine. Build up our chase while we're waiting. Now, here's where shit gets serious. As you can hear, I'm getting stanced up and ready because uh, one wrong move here and it could be very bad. This guy deals so much damage, it, it's kind of insane. Like, literally, he winks at you and you take psychic damage. Ah, uh, see, that shit sucks. He gave me the easy move at least. Definitely want to be out as genie here, and I frame uh, through this. That makes dodging that attack free. Which you love to see. No chance you can get me if I'm just invincible, dude. Okay, I'm being a little bit of a bozo here. Let me lock it in. I'm not worried about dying, I just don't want to even make it close. The more dumb mistakes I make, the closer that reality comes. I've had too many losses lately, my ego can't take any more losses. We need to be prepared for like a, uh, him turning into the power skull after he does the giga ult. We got him to half. We're definitely on the low end of our damage, which we already knew. But these iframe kings hold it together regardless. We got like a really good iframe uh, thing to do here, like right now. And even if he got me there, actually, I, we have um um glass body. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of it for some reason. Alright, no power skull, please. Nope, there he is. And we ain't killing him anytime soon, so we have to actually get through this. Earlier we dodged the uh, scary... Wait, he got me there. See, ah, oh, I hate this fucking guy, dude. Like, I'm, call I'm calling shenanigans, dog. You did not get me. Dude, if he had got me there, I would have been so upset. Now it's the scary move. But once I get past the first slam, it becomes significantly less scary. Okay, I spoke too soon. We can still get out of here with my reassembly. Thought maybe he could go into the balanced form here. Speed skull is definitely the form I want to see here.
Okay, we should be out of here with my uh, reassembly intact, though I am speaking a little too soon. Okay, we're good. All right, we're through it. And now th things are going to be way smoother because, like I said, I'm taking the tibia. And I'm sure now you can see why <laughs> I'm taking the tibia. That was like the longest Dark Skull fight I've had in a good long while. But we got through it. Shit sucks, though, when uh, that shit takes too long. This should go a lot smoother, though. All right, buddy, pal. Just don't give me the vertical beam attack that takes up the whole battlefield. That's, like, the worst thing he can do. And I'd rather not deal with it. Okay, that's, that's fine, too. You do you, man. I say gritting my teeth and pissed off. I, the one thing, man. The one thing I asked of you. Now he's gonna do the fucking... Yeah, he's doing the thing. Like, he's just trapping me here for longer. It's not like I'm scared or anything. The only thing he can do here that really scares me is the box. Which, if I see the box, I've truly built a bad run. Because <laughs> that shit he only does in the if you stay in the fight too long. One thing he could do here... Actually, no, he can't. Uh, I thought maybe he could do... Or actually, maybe he can. The thing where he, like, puts, like, a wheel of, uh, of laser beams in the middle. And they, like, shoot out. And he, like, sends a DVD screensaver to attack you. I thought maybe he could do that there, but I, I think he can only do that when it's like a center platform. This is probably going to be the hardest portion of this. Um, though, I guess if I dash from, from hand to hand, it might be fine. If I'm constantly activating my tibia, and all... Oh, actually, mm, maybe it's not bad, actually, because um, these are pretty big targets, and I can do my uh, multi-click drifting a lot easier against big targets like this. Like, I couldn't do that shit at all against Dark Skull because he's way too small and fast. This also allows me to easily have my tibia active all the time. It's good to be out as uh, Hercules here because he's a tackle dashing power skull. Wait, I got rifted there? Are you fucking for real? Wait, how? What the hell is that hitbox like? Okay, let's be a little careful. That shit's wag, man. I was literally about to talk about how easy it is to avoid getting rifted with a tackle dashing power skull. Then I get tackle dash, or I get uh, rifted from like across the fucking universe. It's fine though, as you can see, because we got that giga damage on deck. Just respect the buzz saws. I think we can uh, skip the. Um, the debris phase here really easily. So maybe not. Actually, I think we're going in, which is fine. If we go into the debris phase, it's not a big deal. Alright, yeah, it's not a big deal. We dealt a fuck ton of damage to him before we got to this point, so it shouldn't really be an issue at all here. As long as I don't get hit by the meteor. If you get hit by the meteor, it's like, ah... <laughs> But we also have reassembly. Everything's fine. Yep, I'm thinking it's GG. It should be. I don't think we should uh, have any issues winning from here. We got plenty enough HP. I'd actually have almost all of my HP if I didn't get rifted from across the universe. Which goes to show the power of these two iframe guys. If that really long Dark Skull fight didn't already show the power of these two iframe kings. They really are powerful. It's like, maybe, maybe in my tier list I took the wrong approach. Because I was like pitting these two against each other. But maybe they're just best buds, actually. Also, we have the opportunity to get the sphere.
Nice. I think we got it there. If I didn't get the sphere there, I'm literally just walking. Oh, ta. Zero out of ten, man. What a fucking awful win, uh, victory screen. However, a good run overall. GGs. Something to show the consistency and power of dashing and um, chase runs, as well as chase item runs in particular. Um, because like my damage engine essentially came down to this, 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 and this. That's all of my damage. And rare, rare, rare. Legendary, but still, even without the Silphid Wings, we would have been just fine on the damage department. But of course, the Silphid Wings helped. But like, I don't know, man. I just think uh, Chase is really consistent and easy to build. Chase runs are just good at the at the core of it. And also, Chase 4 is a very nice effect as well. And the buffs they gave to Chase Enhanced, while in my opinion not like super necessary, are nice and helpful. So it's like, I don't know. There's really not too much awful to say about uh about chase across the board it's just uh, the misconceptions around chase i think are that it's like pikeman's the only one who can do it or not the only one but he's like ob like by far the best and like it's niche otherwise but that's just not true and um honestly at this point i don't even personally consider uh pikeman to be the strongest chase user i consider that to be gargoyle although I could be wrong. I need to build her like a chase damage run that just builds around like tackle dash or dashing damage and see if that can come close to a, to a gargoyle run that uses it. Oh, also, you know what else would have banged on this run? I hope I didn't pass it at any point. I don't think I did, but I wasn't even thinking about it is explosive arrow, which I haven't gotten the opportunity to test yet. It might actually be good now. Like, It'd be nice if it was, because this is like one of the most shat on items in the game, like eternally shat on ever since it got nerfed way, way back in the day before I even started playing. Apparently, the, the, the legend goes that it used to be the strongest item in the game and the devs had to rein it in. And uh, finally, they gave it a little bit of a uh, little bit of a boost in this update. And I'm curious about it, but like uh, it would have been activating a lot with my projectiles even though this and this are the only projectile generate oh no also i think these are also projectiles so mana generator would probably also work i hope i didn't pass it if i did uh we'll get it next time we'll have because someone already asked in the comments we will 100 percent have uh explosive arrow dedicated run for sure uh but hopefully you guys enjoyed this i enjoyed making it it was fun and a good run and you know what even though it uh you know it's not like it's the craziest run ever or anything like basically it's a, a good example of the consistency and ease at which you can build uh chase runs and in my opinion i play this game for consistency like i like consistently winning so consistent archetypes are very important to me as a player that's why i favor ability spam items it's why i favor crit items and also why i favor chase uh dash items is what i'll start calling it but yeah, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.